Hello everyone, Dr Poppy here. Welcome back to my pet rescue centre. Here comes Boris the puffer fish. Puffer fish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look, they're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now Flea free. Second patient, Chili the Emperor Penguin. Emperor penguins live in a place called Antarctica, near the South Pole. Antarctica is so cold, the ground is made of snow and ice. Oh dear, Chili, you look under the weather. Let me take your temperature with my thermometer. Thermometers are used by vets and doctors to take the temperature of your body. The higher the red line in the thermometer, the hotter your temperature is. Chilli is definitely too hot, but I don't think you have a fever. This coat is made of ice, which is just water that is frozen solid. It will help to cool you down. That's much better. Look how cool you look. Felix! You're an hour late. Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates. Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Let's try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready, steady, 
go! Well done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. Wow! It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! Rudolph is part of Santa's special team of magical reindeer who pull his sleigh around the world on Christmas Eve. Hello, Rudolph. You don't seem to be your usual self today. What seems to be the matter? Are you telling me you can't fly, Rudolph? Hmm, we have to fix that, don't we? So you can deliver all the presents to good girls and boys on Christmas Eve. Maybe. Instead of eating that grass, Robbo can make you some magical reindeer food to give you that Christmas spirit again. Some magical reindeer food coming right up. Here we go. Amazing! You look better already, Rudolph. Let's see if you can fly now. Can you take a big leap again? Brilliant, Rudolph! Look at them go! Merry Christmas, Santa! Merry Christmas, Rudolph! Ho, ho, ho! Wow! Thank you for the present, Santa. I'm glad Rudolph is feeling much better. This is Gordon the hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi, Gordon. You look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. Here comes Jimmy the Rabbit. Oh dear. It looks like Jimmy may be allergic to something. I wonder what it could be. What have you been eating, Jimmy? Hmm, I have an idea. Look at that. I think Jimmy is allergic to carrots. Can you tell us what an allergy is, please, Robbo? An allergy is when your body's immune system makes a bit of a mistake and thinks something harmless is dangerous to your body. In Jimmy's case, his body is reacting badly to carrots. Not to worry, there are lots of other delicious vegetables that you can eat instead. We have broccoli, cabbages, and squash. They are all super healthy and taste fantastic. Look, 
The squash is even the same colour as carrots, but it won't make you sneeze. Yummy, yummy. Did you know that snakes can't chew their food, so they have to swallow it whole? Hi there, Sally. Let's take a look at what might be the matter with you. Hmm, it looks like Sally might have swallowed something that doesn't belong there. I know that shape, but let me just double check. Robbo, I think we need to have a closer look. Can you take an x-ray, please? One x-ray coming right up. An x-ray is a machine that can see through things. We can use it to take pictures of our insides. It's a key! Oh dear, Sally, a key definitely doesn't belong in your tummy. Swallowing keys and other objects like this can be very dangerous. It could hurt your tummy and make you very unwell. <coughs> well, now we know what the problem is, how can we remove the key from Sally's tummy? How about a magnet? Magnets are amazing. They have a magnetic force that can attract some types of metals, like iron. Good idea, Robbo. If we put the magnet against Sally's skin, it will pull the key towards it and we can move it along Sally's body and back out of her mouth. Stay calm, Sally. This won't hurt and the key will be out in no time at all. it's out. How do you feel, Sally? Great work, Robbo. I think Sally's saying thank you. I think it must be my magnetic personality. Here comes Cecil the snake. Here comes Twinkle the robin. <coughs> you can tell a robin by their beautiful red feathers on their front. Sometimes they're called robin redbreasts and can be heard singing in your garden on Christmas Day. Twinkle, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> Twinkle, I can't hear you. Have you lost your voice? May I have a quick look at your throat, please? Robins and other types of birds sing as a way of speaking to one another, just like humans do by talking. Yes, Twinkle. It looks like you've got a sore throat. The best treatment for a sore throat is to wrap up warm, rest up and drink plenty of water. Some of Robbo's special cough syrup will help too. A spoonful of cough syrup coming right up. Here you go, Twinkle. Make sure you take a big gulp. It's important to stay warm out there and get as much rest as possible. Would you look at that? She's already feeling much better. Here comes Jake the spider. Some people think that spiders are insects, but that's not true. Spiders are actually members of the arachnid family. Oh dear, Jake. It looks like you're limping on one of your legs. What happened? <laughs> Sounds like a nasty fall. Let me take a look at that for you. Robbo, I think we need to take an x-ray of one of Jake's legs. One x-ray coming right up. Spiders don't have bones like you and me. They are arthropods, which means their skeleton is on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. If you look, you can clearly see here that poor Jake has broken one of his legs. I think we need to put that leg in a cast, which will give it the support it needs whilst it heals. Whilst Robbo is putting Jake's cast on, shall we count how many legs Jake has? He's got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight legs. All spiders have 
eight legs. That's you all fixed, Jake. Now don't climb any walls or water spouts for two weeks and try to get plenty of rest. 